My name is Philip. I'm a Foreign Service medical provider and I'm trained as a physician assistant. So some of the similarities and differences uh, from my, my past life, uh, so to speak, in, uh, in working with the Foreign Service, um, obviously uh, uh, clinical hands-on patient care. Uh, working in, in the emergency department uh, really has given me some skills to, uh, to be able to, to do some things in the Foreign Service. For example, um, one of my previous uh, assignments, there was no emergency medical system as, as we know it in the United States, so I was that, that person. Um, and so it was, it was very helpful to have a, a good uh, uh, core um, education and, and experience with emergency medicine. I would say it's been an amazing experience. Uh, my very first assignment was, it was very difficult and I was questioning if this is really the right thing for me, the right career, uh, the right job. And, um, and looking back, I'm glad I, I stayed and I finished and I don't think I want to go back to that place again, but, uh, but I'll never have ever had gained those experiences any other way uh, but with this type of job. And so uh, for people that really want a, a, a challenge, to really want to challenge themselves uh, and want a unique experience, um, this is uh, definitely something that you can, uh, you can get into and continue to practice medicine and, uh, and continue to evolve as a, as a medical uh, provider. One thing that uh, I did not foresee coming into this job, I thought it was just purely going to be clinical. Um, and it's something I really enjoyed is, is medical diplomacy. So I am a clinician, I am a medical provider, I do take care of patients, but I wear two hats. Uh, one hat as a pro clinical provider and one hat as, uh, as a diplomat. I have enjoyed um, the fact that I can travel a lot uh, within my position and uh, when I worked in Brazil, I was able to participate in the, uh, the World Cup. Um, I kind of s stepped outside of my usual job taking care of patients um, in the embassy. And, uh, and did a lot of work uh, with, the, with other entities of the U.S. government to prepare for, uh, for the World Cup. Uh, that was probably my, my most unique experience. So for, uh, as far as medical diplomacy for the uh, World Cup in Brazil in uh, 2014, uh, I traveled to all 12 uh, host cities, um, the 12 different states, and I assessed uh, uh, over 50 hospitals, medical facilities, um, local, uh, local medical assets. Um, met with uh, secretaries of, of health uh, from each one of these states, sometimes governors. One of the best experiences during the, these travels uh, was meeting uh, the governor of, of a particular state in, in Brazil that had never had a, a U.S. Um, diplomat or representative come to that state, so they were, they were ecstatic um, and, uh, and I felt like I was really pushing that, that frontier. Um, but, but doing this work uh, for, for, the, for the embassy, um, preparing uh, the embassy for all the American citizens that were going to come to Brazil for the World Cup and, and having a plan um, also was, was great outreach. 